Today, we're going to make a URL shortener using the Go programming language and Cursor AI. Let's get started. This is Raza Writes Code. I'm going to start by creating a directory uh, URL shortener. And then inside Cursor, uh, we've opened it up and we're going to do Apple L and we're going to start talking to the AI. So, hey there, we're going to make a URL shortener today. Let's use Golang for the coding. We can have it serve up an index.html file uh, that will have a form field to submit the long URL uh, and a submit button that will do a post request. Let's say to slash app slash shorten and that endpoint will generate a short code and insert it into a SQL light DB table called URLs. Uh, URLs will have ID auto increment uh, long URL and then short code let's say we can start there and flesh out the design and implementation as we go basic structure HTTP server, great, index.html, implement app shorten endpoint, set up SQLite database, let's start with the main.go file suite. Uh, this will be easier to read if I create the file, so I'm just going to copy this. Uh, we've got a main.go, copy that, let's make it main.go, boom, done, and then let's make our index.html since that also was created for us. Boom. All right. Cool. To run this project, make sure you have Go installed on your system. We have that. Install the SQLite try. Okay, we're going to need that. Save the main.go and index.html files in the same directory. Perfect. Run the application. The implementation covers basic functionality. Index.html. There's a post to app shorten. It generates a short code, stores the long URL, and short code in the SQLite database. Next steps. Okay. Redirect function, of course, adding error handling, UI, CSS, and JavaScript, adding features like custom short codes or expiration dates. Okay, sweet. Let's take a look at the code that uh, AI wrote for us, and we'll see if uh, it's usable. Uh, all right, so SQLite database. This is the database name. We're going to run on 8080. We have a home page to serve the index. We have app shorten to shorten the URL. We have our schema, create table of not exist URLs, ID, perfect, long URL short. This is unique, which is good. We're gonna we should add an index on here too, because we may want to when a user submits a long URL, we may wanna we will look it up in the database first just to see if it's already been shortened. And if it has been shortened, we just return the entry. If it has not, then we create a new one. Serve index reads the index of HTML, serves it up. Cool. Shorten URL. All right, so grab the URL from the post request, generate a short code and insert it. So we insert the long URL and the short code. Okay, and then how do we generate a short code? Okay, we have a character set. Code length is six. Okay, and it's just a random one. So I'm going to tweak this a little bit, but let's just run with this design and we'll make improvements as we go. I believe this will run. Uh, although we do need to install some libraries. Uh, it had mentioned the SQLite library. Right, okay. Uh, let's just try it anyway. Let's see what happens. Go run main.go. And also let's just make sure we're in the right place. Cool. Okay, so right, just like I said, we need some modules. So if you know anything about Go, you're gonna need to init and we could even ask AI, how do I init? 
in my Go env, how do I init uh, Go mod so that I can install libraries like SQL Lite 3? Go mod init your project name. Sweet, let's do it. Go mod init, and I kind of copied my project name. This is the best practice is to use your GitHub with the name of the project. So we're going to init go mod tidy, all good. Nice. So uh, it figured out that I'm using SQLite, maybe just based on main.go. But let's, uh, let's check it out. Go.sum, go.mod. OK, uh, well, it looks good. Let's run this again. Go run main.go. Allow. OK, server's running. Let's go check it out. Boom. All right, we got a shortener page. That was easy. Uh, let's just, I, it's obviously not finished, but let's just see what happens when you do this. Shortened URL. OK, nice. This is cool. Let, and we can actually check this out in the database. We don't have the redirect logic set up, but we can at least check our database. Uh, if you don't know SQLite, um, It creates a file .db. You can literally cat it, and it's not 100% readable, but it's not bad. Uh, a better way to read it is SQLite 3, like this. Uh, select star from URLs. So cool. We have an ID of one. We have a long URL of https://youtube.com, and we have a short code of this. That looks good. And then. It's not going to do anything, but we could just <laughs> we could just go there, and it doesn't do anything. Okay, great. So let's tell AI to make it do something. Great. So let's flesh out the redirection logic. We can say slash goes to uh, serves up this is just url mapping in my head we can say slash serves index.html uh, slash app uh, is internal for example slash app shorten is where the post request goes to uh, anything else is a shortened URL, i.e. slash shortcode. So we can handle those. Uh, we can add a handler, right? We can add a handler for those. Grab the shortcode. Look it up in the DB. If not found, redirect to slash with an error message. If found, redirect the user via HTTP 301 redirect to the long URL. Does that make sense? Cool. Absolutely, that makes perfect sense. Let's implement the redirection logic. We'll modify main.go to include this new functionality. Sweet. OK, so slash goes to handle request. App shorten goes to shorten URL. Handle request. OK, right. If it's if the path is just slash, serve the index. Else, we grab the short code from the URL. We look it up in the database. If we didn't find it, we redirect with an error message. If we did find it, we redirect to the long URL. Serve index now has a bit of error handling, error message stuff, and then index.html is going to display the error message. This looks pretty good. Uh, let's read their summary. We've added handle request slash serves index. Any other path is a short code if a short code is found. Cool. Nice. I think we should give this a go. So apply this. So net URL and strings. Handle request we looked at briefly over here, and error. Cool, looks great. And then let's do index.html, apply. Just has some error handling, perfect. Let's save all, let's run this, and we can test it out. 
is equal light. Let's control C. Let's run this. Allow. Cool. All right. And then uh, let's grab that row actually. Short code. So we go here slash boom. YouTube. All right, we got a working URL shortener. Perfect. Uh, there's obviously some things I would like to do. So let's make this a bit better. Uh, I think, let's see what the experience is like for submitting. Okay, so it just kind of goes to a new page and it has this URL. I don't really like that. So uh, it's a little side project of mine. So let's fix that. Uh, Great, works great. Let's fix the submission experience. So after the user submits, I think we should redirect back to slash and show them the short URL there. Uh, app shorten is not for users. It's just for form submission. What do you think? Let's go. Okay. AI agrees. Shorten URL is going to redirect back and it's going to have a short URL in the as a get parameter and then serve index is going to look for that and then display it and, and so everything gets edited a bit index.html gets some edits as well all right let's give that a go looks good index.html looks good let's test this save all how's our database look all right, so we've got our home page. We don't need YouTube anymore. Uh, let's try a final URL to shorten. Boom, okay, you come right back to where you, the home page. This is great. You can literally just click it and it goes to Instagram. Nice, yeah, that's really cool. So. There's two things I want to do. One, I want to style this. I want, to, I want it to look nicer. So let's do that. This works. Let's style the index.html page. We can use Tailwind CSS. Uh, let's make it a nice and clean modern design clean lines and buttons centered uh, good spacing margin good fonts uh, good colors for error slash success messages all right Certainly, let's dial index.html. All right, we'll include Tailwind via CDN, perfect. Here's an updated version with improved styling. All right, looking good. Uh, subtle grays, all right, thanks. All right, let's go. Let's test how it looks uh, on the browser. Go run main.go. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's do a new, just do Instagram again. Enter your long URL, boom. Shorten, boom. Boom, this looks really good. Uh, let's put in a URL that's kind of broken, right? Uh, yeah, we can just make it up, I guess. We can say, hey, go to ABC. Does ABC exist? Nope, short, short URL not found. All right, it's looking good. Uh, I wouldn't change too much else. This is working pretty good. Uh, you could uh, make a tweak 
that generates these short codes based on the next database ID, and then it's guaranteed to be unique. That's an interesting idea. You could use base, uh, uh, base 58 encoding would work. I kind of like 58 just from crypto. I think it's a cool idea to remove characters that are confusing, like O and zero, and I and L and all that, and one. So uh, base 58 encoding of the next ID to generate these to make them 100% unique. But as it is, this looks good, it works good. And uh, if I had to make additional changes besides the base 68 thing, I would maybe have a start and stop script for the server. And yeah, I'm sure you can come up with other ideas. But yeah, this is a really basic tutorial about how to use Cursor AI, how do I use Cursor AI. This was really simple, maybe 20 minutes to build a whole URL shortener that works pretty well. So I hope that was useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you have other suggestions for projects that I you would like me to build with AI, um, let me know. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.